was the saying go with weak foundations like you know everything's gonna fall through I knew I guess I knew what the issue was was the fact that I was going about things in the wrong way and just you know taking information at face value from any person that I was seeing on the internet it was time for me then to actually learn a little bit more about what my body needed just to rewind back a little bit because I think it'll be really important for just people to try and understand you're 21 you're at your heaviest yep we're in a girl's bathroom being sick <laughs> uh, not feeling our best we have this moment in the mirror of like enough's enough yeah and then you go on to lose 50 plus pounds um wh what like why like what were the deep reasons why and then like what was step one for you so from that moment i think people when they see my weight loss transformation they immediately want to know what was the time span between this like i i want to do what you did and the first i'd say six months of my journey was doing all of that work i didn't lose any weight mm. within like the first maybe five or six months of my journey because i believe anyway if you're trying to really heal your relationship with food you have to take the emphasis off weight loss especially if you're coming from a place of you know disordered eating or your relationship with food isn't on a good side try and heal that relationship first before you actually get into the weight loss so I said I think my first step was I'm going to try and get healthier not I'm going to try and lose weight I'm just going to try and get healthier so that was my first step because I said to myself I wanted to make it sustainable and long lasting this time I was tired of the you know losing weight gaining it back and losing weight I was just fed up with that and I said, I want to just be a healthier individual. I want everyday movement to feel a little bit better. I want to look after my nutrition. I want to learn a little bit more. So that was my step one was just saying, I want to be healthier. And then how can I start to do that? And that's through your daily habits. Mm -hmm. And that's through things that people, again, often just brush under the carpet. Can I drink a little bit more water? I'm not going to start going to the gym right now, but can I go for a walk every mm -hmm. day? Can I start getting more fruit and vegetables? And then that's kind of then what led me into my weight loss because then I felt ready to go into the mm -hmm. weight loss side of things. So yeah, that's kind of step one. Have a goal, but don't put too much pressure on yourself. Yeah. Sure. It sounds like you really focused on the foundations, which then gave you that success, like jumping off point. Yeah, for sure. I think, well, how's the saying go? With weak foundations, like, you know, everything's going to fall through. I knew, I guess I knew what the issue was, was the fact that I was going about things in the wrong way and just, you know, taking information at face value from any person that I was seeing on the internet. It was time for me then to actually learn a little bit more about what my body needed, you know, macronutrients, protein. It was a whole new world like to navigate. But once you kind of lay those foundations a little bit better, that can set you up then for a successful journey. So that's why I'll always say to people, don't rush the beginning and you don't have to be losing weight in the beginning to be making progress. If you're learning something new and your habits are getting better, you're sleeping better, you've got more energy, you're progressing and your progress doesn't have to come from solely the skills. So that was kind of my mm -hmm. starting point, just to lay foundations and to feel better. That was my sole aim to begin with. I think that's really, really mature, yeah. especially at that age, because it's easy to say like if you're not seeing progress on the scale you're still making progress so many of us inside are like yeah okay but I still want to see the scale go down yeah mm. so how did you like manage that internal battle so I actually removed the scales from my journey for a big chunk actually I just didn't care about them I was like because I had done Slimming World um when I was maybe really young I can't remember what age I was and their sole obviously emphasis is on when in mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that totally warped my perception of the scale. Yeah. You're not educated on why you might be fluctuating mm. water weight, retention, salt, all of that kind of stuff. Mm. So I just totally removed the scales. I said, I'm not going to weigh myself. I'm just trying to feel better. And then as a byproduct of me changing my habits, my body started to change. Yeah. I got myself into the gym then whenever I moved to London. And then whenever I felt like I had kind of healed maybe that relationship with the skills, I had done a little bit more education. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can wear myself maybe on a day to day basis and understand the fluctuations a little bit more. Then I reintroduced them back in. So again, if something's massively triggering you, feel free to remove it. You don't have yeah, to keep I it. I love what you're saying though, because it's like a lot of the uh, food triggering you from like an emotional standpoint, but then you have done the work, got educated on why, 
and then being able to, you know, go into a calorie deficit and look at that like in a, in a more logical way because yeah. you understand it like from a fundamental standpoint. And then the same with the scales, scales, same like emotional response, but then you've understood it and understood your body more. Yeah. And now you can have a relationship with the scales because it doesn't, you can see it more logically in terms of what's happening, yeah. um, which is like, I guess the forefront of that, it's like education, uh, like self-awareness and also like not judging yourself too harshly through that moment too. A hundred percent. It's that's, I think that's the most challenging part for people is the emotional point of view and the logical point of view. Like, cause if you don't understand the why you just think that you're gaining weight or, mm. you know, you're, you've a negative relationship with food just because you do. I think it's having to just kind of understand the why. And I think that's why obviously you guys do what you do. That's what I do, what I do. I love to sh like educate people on that and be like, it's okay. Like we're going to work through this. Do you know what I mean? This is why this has happened. And there's nothing as like nice as a coach to get a message of being like, oh, I really understand that now. And you know, this makes so much sense. And you know, the scales went up a pound this morning, but I know why and I feel okay with it. Mm. So I think that's really, really important to actually educate and understand the whys as to why these things are going on. Are you ready to lose 30 to 60 pounds in under six months without restrictive diets, countless hours exercising, or any guesswork? Well, we help women over 30 do exactly that. Lose weight guaranteed. And five to 10 pounds a month is the average weight loss. And that's not a cherry pick statistic. That is the average. Your weight loss results are 100% guaranteed. You will lose unwanted body fat. So apply at bodysmartfitness.com. That's bodysmartfitness.com, but only if you're a woman over 30 and want to lose 30 to 60 pounds.